Almost the most fun part of my month is when this little baby arrives and I get to see what these guys think is a good time. And boy, oh boy, they are usually right. Oh, okay, what do we got? A squeeze foot? Hmm. Can't say you, I, I have one of these yet, so that's not a bad thing. Okay, bunch of jumpers. An Uno R3 from Robone. Yeah, yeah. I've got a bunch of those. Oh, what do we have here? A an AT Mega. What do we have here? An AT Mega. It's some sort of um, microcontrol microcontroller. Which one is it? From Atmel. It is. AT Mega 328P. Oh, uh, it's an Arduino. Well, it's the chip that goes onto an Arduino Uno. And what do we have here? An AT Tiny uh, 83 or an 85? Can't quite tell. But um, a small Arduino, in a sense. Um, I think uh, they're both 8 bit mi micros. So um, those are. Those are getting pretty close to bare bones from a programming perspective. What do we have here? A USB to TTL? Yeah, RXTX. So I'm betting that this is a USB to um, RS2, not RS232, but uh, USB to, yeah, RS232. And what else do we have? The obligatory breadboard. We have a bunch of components with LEDs. Can't have a project that doesn't blink lights. What is this? This looks like an antenna. This looks like some sort of a, not an F connector. Huh, what is this? Uh, I'm going to have to open that bag. <gasps> Is it really? A SIM card? Does that mean that this antenna is a cell phone antenna? I think it does. I think they've <laughs> given us the ability to build a cell phone. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. There is a uh, SIM card in here. What the heck? Well, maybe not a cell phone. Oh, I like that sticker. That's going somewhere. Uh, and so, at the bottom of the box, what do they have here? Yes, a 328P and an AT Tiny 85. I've used these guys. These are these are fun. They've only got um, four IOs, but um, what's on the other side of this thing? A cellular metal is what they're calling this box. A symbols 800L. I wonder what that is. I wonder what uh, what that is. Whether what uh, band that thing runs on. So um, so I guess to make a cell phone, this would be the um, this would be the driver chip for communications with the cell towers. So um, you've got an antenna that you would hook up to your, your board and then you would simply have to figure out how to feed data in there in an encapsulated format so that, or in a format that the cell tower could understand. And then at the other end, I presume that you would have some sort of uh, connection to, the, to this thing's, you know, you would initiate a, a, a connection and you would make a data transfer. So, that sounds like a fun game to play. Let's see how we uh, how we actually make that chooch. Anything else did I miss? Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna build a cell phone. That makes that makes no sense at all. Okay, so it looks pretty simple to set up. Um, it just uses um, TTL logic 
um, to um, do TX, RX, ground. There's a reset pin and we've got five volts. So um, we'll just hook that up to the Arduino and see if we can um, poke at this thing and get something out of it. Okay, and a little bit about the chip here. Um, it's uh, G2, um, so it does um, uh, 800, 900, 1500 um, bands, but um, it's, a, it's a G2, not a G3 uh, generation three chip. So, well, I mean, good for data, um, for small packet data, uh, obviously, I mean, you know, SMS uh, segments and things like that. Um, I don't know if you'd stream video over this thing, probably not. But, uh, <laughs> hey, what the heck? Okay, so power, five volts, it's a five volt device, ground, sure why not, ground, and then let's say D7 and D8, why not, uh, digital seven and digital eight, for reasons apparently, which will become clear later. Okay, so we hooked this little puppy up to its antenna, and um, if anybody's ever hacked around with um, laptops where they have to replace screens or anything like that, you'll recognize the little, these little connectors from Wi-Fi antennas. Um, just a tiny little, tiny little connector. I mean, I can't, I don't know how this is only eight dollars. It's absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Well, and this would be probably, I don't know. 10 15 <laughs> no I, I don't know I don't know this is uh, these might be another five but considering the complexity of this versus the complexity of this or even worse like a connector a connector like a handful of these stupid things in bulk are probably five bucks it's ridiculous anyways I digress We've got um, our Arduino hooked up. I'm going to see if I can send some AT commands to this thing now. Um, I'm going to reset the, uh, the, the screencasting on the computer so that we can see what the, uh, the response back is from this guy. Okay, so it looks like we've got our um, software uploaded onto our, onto our Arduino. And it seems like it is communicating with our um, cellular chip. Because when I send it AT commands, it comes back with OK. Now, there should be a bunch of different AT commands that you send to it to do a bunch of different things. And I checked the data sheet, and there are a tons and tons of commands. I mean, this chip can do all sorts of stuff, including voice. So it is actually the cell phone chip. So if you were to send um, a, a stream of audio into it, it could actually work as a cell phone. But what what, what we're going to test right now is just the, um, the uh, SMS and the data um, communications of the chip because the hologram network that I registered the, uh, the SIM card on only does S uh, text. It doesn't have any voice capabilities. But probably if you put a, you know, a regular SIM card in there um, from a regular um, provider, like uh, you would be able to get a cell phone out of that thing. But anyways, what we're going to test is um, the, uh, the sending text messages portion of this thing. So um, some of the um, AT commands that are important are um, a, whoops, I'm not in the right window, AT plus uh, cellular ops operations. Um, so what are the cellular operators that are available? Okay. Rogers Wireless is available, is what it says. Now, if I want to put it into AT and um, configure or cellular, I'm not sure what to make of that, MFG. So message um, FG. I'm not sure what FG is supposed to stand for, but what it does is it puts it into text mode, apparently. No, AT plus C M G F message format right M G F message format is equal to one. I should send it into yes text message format and A T plus um, 
cellular message SMS. If what you what you put in here is the phone number, so um, uh, country code, so that would be C. Um, well, it would be zero, uh, or sorry, um, dialing prefix one for North America, and then XXXXXXXXXXX would give you the uh, the phone number that you're going to call. So I'm going to do that with um, with one of my uh, numbers, and we'll see what we get. But um, I think what we're going to get is a text message coming out the other end. Crazy. Oh, wait. Um, once you put put it in, once you issue that AT plus um, C M uh, M G S message uh, SMS and the phone number, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to prompt you for entering um, the very the the text message so you can type in anything into here and then you finish it off with a slash uh, what is it slash O thirty two for um, Control Z or Control Z for those of the Imperial Persuasion. And yeah, well, we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we go. We've got a um, an Arduino set up with our serial port connected to um, our serial monitor. We've got a little program running on the Arduino that is going to send whatever we send through the serial port out to, through here as a text message as long as we type in the right AT command set. So we've typed in a little text message and uh, now we end our text message. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Ended our text message and we'll see if it gets to <laughs> That's crazy! This is a cell phone! <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. So uh, these guys, Hologram, <clears throat> looks like they have a, uh, a, uh, a product that's um, a little IoT device and they've set up a, a network for, um, for users um, data plants um this thing actually does g uh gprs so it will um support data you can run tcp ip over it um and uh yeah so you can actually connect s a network protocol across a cellular network to one of these devices so you could run a tcp ip server like a telnet daemon or a web server and run it across the network using this thing like Wow, <laughs> eight bucks. And then these guys have some pretty reasonable data rates unless, uh, you know, it's a simple plan. There's no voice, it's just a, a data plan. And um, it's like uh, six, like 40 cents a month for upkeep of the SIM card because they have to keep a database of some sort, I guess. And then um, some crazy thing like, uh, you know, like, 60 cents a meg or something like that it's really low but anyways you can check out the website um it doesn't seem too uh, too unreasonable um so if you're sending sms's back and forth i mean what are those those are uh 17 18 characters so you know yeah, tiny 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 little packets of data and uh no sorry 100 and 150 characters what am i thinking so tiny packets of data that um, that wouldn't um, consume very much um, uh, stuff at all. So um, if you have some sort of a, um, a device that is sending um, a bunch of fixed commands, you could you know obviously do some sort of a hash to put them all into a uh, a, a big table that would um, all fit into 100 and 144 characters, and you could tweet out all kinds of data from these things. Um, for virtually pennies um, across the network, and then if you if you had to actually do any admin on the thing, you could tell that into a into your device, or you could um, have a web server that's up on the device that would provide a simple text-based GUI that you could do some configuration on. I mean, it's a wonderful technology, wonderful technology. Anyways, 
and, and super cheap. So um, I'm going to activate this and uh, see if we can send messages to the phone.